everybody, my name is Melissa and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another romance book recommendations. This is based on the trope of fake relationships or fake marriage slash marriage of convenience, kind of all of the above. This is one of my favorite romance tropes. I absolutely love it when two people are kind of like forced to spend time and be together and you know ultimately fake being in a relationship. So I have a couple books to get to so let's go ahead and get started. So the very first book I want to talk about is one that won the Goodreads Choice Awards for the romance genre and I think it was like 2018 and that is The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. This is so much fun. I absolutely love this book and the whole series in general and I can't wait till the next one comes out. But this is about a girl named Stella and she has autism. She is on the spectrum and Michael who is a male escort. So Stella just really doesn't like touching other people or you know any type of physical relationship at all. It just makes her very uncomfortable. So due to the pressures of her family she decides to hire a male escort to kind of like teach her the ways of sexual encounters. So this book is funny. It has a lot of laughs. It is also one that has great representation. Michael is half Vietnamese, half Swedish. Obviously Stella is on the spectrum. And you have two people coming from two different kind of income statuses and all that kind of stuff. So the fake relationship aspect comes in the part um, after Stella hires Michael. They kind of like start this whole physical relationship. Something happens and she just wants to learn how to be in a relationship with somebody. This book was so, so sweet. I absolutely loved it. It's definitely a big popular book on booktube in the romance genre. If you haven't read this book, I highly suggest you do. It has a lot of great representation and, you know, just a lot of laughs and a lot of fun and continuing on with this series is going to be just so enjoyable. So I highly suggest you read it. Addicted to You by Krista and Becca Ritchie is one of I read back in 2016. I actually, I'm pretty sure I completed the majority of this series and the spin-off series as well. Um, it was just the writing was so addicting and I was absolutely devouring all of the books when I did read it. This is a book about obviously a fake relationship. These two characters are extremely flawed. They have addictions. Lily has an addiction to sex and Lauren has an addiction to alcohol. They are best friends but also roommates. So to kind of cover for each other and their addictions, basically they pretend to be in a relationship when they're around other people and especially their families. This is a book that is extremely hard hitting. It's absolutely wonderful and it deals with some pretty heavy topics. It's one that is super steamy. It has a lot of angst and drama in it. Continuing it with the series and you see the other sisters as well was just absolutely wonderful. I really did like this book and the series. It's one that I haven't talked about at all on this channel, but yeah, I really did enjoy it. The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Zapata is an extreme slow burn sports romance. This is about Vanessa who used to be Aiden's personal assistant and just because he like pretty much just kind of not took advantage of her, what's the word, like he just didn't acknowledge everything that she did, kind of took her for granted and she kind of had her own side business of digital marketing and decided to make that her full time job. So she ended up quitting and suddenly Aiden realizes that he needs to get a green card or a visa to be able to stay in the US and play in the NFL because he's from Canada. So in order to do that and to make sure that he can um, stay and not have to go through the whole process, he decides to propose a marriage prospect to Vanessa because obviously she can handle his crazy mood swings and all of that stuff. She ends up saying yes because he offers to pay for her school loans and at the end of the five or so years that they're supposed to be together, by her house. So this is a great opportunity for Vanessa to be able to pay off her student loans and all that good stuff. So in this book you see the different interactions from being personal assistant and employer to not talking to each other and to having to pretend to be in love and be a fiance, married couple, so on and so forth. This was so cute and so much fun. I was rooting for this couple the entire time. I loved Aiden and you know his personality and Vanessa and her go get him attitude. It was so so cute and definitely a lot of fun. Don't be intimidated by this huge page count. It was so good. It is on Kindle Unlimited so definitely check it out. Next I'm going to talk about a book that came out last year and one that I absolutely adored and have talked a bunch on my channel and that is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. This author duo writes a bunch of standalones and they also have a series of office romances which is more definitely smutty. This is more focused on the relationship between Ethan and Olive. Olive is a girl whose twin sister gets married and 
at the, what is it, not rehearsal dinner, but the reception, the food is bad, and the only two people in the whole wedding party that doesn't get sick is her and Ethan. Ethan is the groom's brother, and they don't like each other due to something that happened in the past, and yeah, they just can't stand each other. But Olive Twin Sister says, you're not letting this honeymoon go to waste. I want it, and it's a big deal, so you pretend to be me, and Ethan will pretend to be the husband, and y'all can go on this amazing vacation. Obviously, they don't want to pass up this great opportunity to go to Maui and experience a great time, but they do have to pretend to be married, and so that way they don't get caught, go to jail for fraud. This was so cute, so much fun. I freaking loved it. I read this right before I went to Hawaii, and it just made me so excited for my trip, and yeah, definitely a lot of fun. It's a book I want to reread very soon, and if you haven't read it, definitely do. It's just so good. Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey is a book that I picked up on Audible when I was moving because I needed something to listen to hands-free. And let me tell you, this book was steamy and it was so funny. I really enjoyed it. This is a book about Georgie who is kind of the oddball in her family. She is a party clown as her job and she kind of has her own business in trying to compete with these other big party planners or, you know, that kind of thing. And you have Travis who is Georgie's older brother's best friend. He used to play in the major league. Something happened and he ends up having to come home because of an injury and he's trying to figure out his life and what he's going to do now, now that he doesn't have baseball. This is a story about Travis and Georgie's love story and how they kind of have to pretend to be in a relationship to get their families off their backs and for different reasons they're kind of like using each other but in a good way. This book isn't super deep or groundbreaking by any means, but it was definitely a really fun, quick read with a happy ending, and yeah, absolutely loved it. So the last book I'm gonna talk about is The Deal by L. Kennedy. This is a series that is a hockey romance, but also has the fake relationship trope. Hannah is acing all of her classes, and Garrett, this NH NHL. He's not in the national. He's not in the hockey league yet. He's this hockey player in college, and he's not doing so well in his studies in this one class. So he finds out Hannah is acing it, and he asks her to kind of help him study so he can continue playing for college because this is what he wants to, you know, do with his life. So Hannah keeps saying no. She's not going to tutor Garrett, and he notices that Hannah likes another guy on campus, this football player. So he uses that to advantage to strike a deal. He says that he can get Hannah to get a date with this guy if she ends up tutoring him. So obviously they create a, this fake relationship to make the other guy jealous and to notice her. So this was so much fun. It definitely touches on some deeper topics than I thought it would. I wasn't really expecting those things to come up and when they did, it just kind of was glossed over a bit. I really did enjoy the first book in this series. I do have the other two books and I think there's more in the series and there's a whole spinoff. I've only read this one, but I really did enjoy it and it's a great fake relationship book. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching my fake relationship slash marriage of convenience trope book recommendations. I love this trope. If you have any thoughts or opinions or have any recommendations for me, I would love to hear about it and chat about it in the comments down below. And I hope you have a great day and happy reading. Bye!